A very good day to you people. My name is Mohedan guys. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the nth child pseudo class selector. You can call it uh, a pseudo selector as well. Now this is a little advanced guys. So if you're a beginner probably uh, things may get a little, little difficult but uh, hang on. I'll uh, try and explain things as easily as possible. Alright, guys, I'm using Dreamweaver CS 5.5, and uh, what you see right now is an ordered list. Now, in Dreamweaver, when you need to create an ordered list, all you need to do is in the properties uh, panel down below here, you can click on this icon which says uh, ordered list, and then you can uh, just type the list out quickly. And if you have a look in the code area, inside the opening and the closing body tags, I have the opening OL, OL for ordered list, opening and the closing uh, ordered list tags, and uh, between these tags I have the LI opening and closing tags. Alright, so it's an ordered list of 10 items. Now guys, uh, let's consider a situation let's say I'm a client and I want you to uh, create an uh, ordered list in such a way that I say only the third the sixth and the ninth item should be affected or uh, I probably might say in the ordered list I just want the first item to be affected in a certain manner let's say I want a certain color to be attached to the first item or let's say only to the last item all right, or only to the second, fourth, uh, sixth, eighth, and tenth item. These uh, the odd, uh, the even items. All right, guys. So if there is a range, or if there is a specific uh, item that we have to work with, now the nth child pseudo selector comes in really, really handy. I've spoken about the nth child pseudo selector in. Uh, my earlier tutorials but I'm just taking that concept a little forward one step ahead alright so there'll be a little bit of repetition but I'll also expose uh, areas which are uh, which probably you haven't at least heard from me alright so I'll, I'll I hope I can actually fill some knowledge gap so uh, the first thing that I'll do is guys I will click on the new CSS uh, rule button drop down the contextual selector to a compound now let's keep it uh, pretty easy in the beginning what I'll say is I'll say that I want my rule to affect all OL items rather all LI items that are within the OL items the ordered list the LI items that are within the ordered list but in a manner that only the first let's say only the first item should be affected so that's pretty easy guys all you need to do is just say first child when I say first child it means just the first item of uh, the several available should get affected so guys what happens here is the OL is the parent tag and the LI are the children tags so the first child should be number one okay let's see that in action so let me say okay and uh, then let me to distinguish it give it a different color let's go with a pound sign 900 also let me increase the font size to an 18 and let's say okay and then let me take a live view yes indeed guys you see only the first child of its parent has been affected wonderful guys now what I'll do is let me come off the live view right uh, guys this is the internal style alright and this is the compound rule that I've just created now what I'll do is I'll be making the changes here in the compound rule and uh, have a look here in the design view to see how it actually has made a difference okay so the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is how does changing the first child to the last child actually affects the list so I'm gonna just make this change 
from uh, the first chart to the last chart let me take a live view and guys as you can see now this time the last item has been affected pretty good now what if uh, I just wanted the third item to be affected now that was uh, very simple as well all I needed to say was ol space li colon nth child and then in uh, parenthesis the number 3 okay so a specific child will be affected let's take a live view guys as you can see only the third item has been affected leaving uh, the rest of the nine intact cool which also means that I if I wanted the sixth item to be affected uh, as you can see here so now we know how to affect the first child the last child and a specific child all right now let's uh, consider this one I just want the odd items or the even items to be affected so that's very simple as well guys all I need to do is I just need to say odd out here okay now the first the third the fifth the seventh and the ninth items are affected and if I change this odd to even I'm sure you know what will happen now this time the uh, the items in the order even will be affected cool now guys um, let me introduce uh, something called a knot the colon knot pseudo selector let's see what it does so if I just take my cursor before the li and drop in a colon knot out there okay colon knot is again a pseudo selector guys open the brackets here and close it uh, after even and then let's take a live view okay so guys what the colon knot has done is it's changed the even to an odd so it's the same thing as saying uh, odd out here okay so what colon knot does is it just reverses the meaning of uh, the uh, current compound rule cool uh, okay which also means that guys let's say if instead of even uh, I had something like uh, a number five out here let's see how would it uh, affect the list let me come off the live view and uh, click back again so guys as you can see barring the fifth child everything else has been affected okay so the colon knot pseudo selector completely changes the meaning of uh, the compound rule uh, that we have created okay but it's a little bit uh, complex I'm sure at least for, for people who are completely new to pseudo selectors um, this may be a little complex but guys as you practice uh, things will become uh, more and more easy let's uh, let's show you something new so, uh, something else let me come off this uh, colon not zero selector it's actually making the compound look even more compound even more complex okay let me do away with the parents okay so I'm back to the point where only the fifth item is affected using the nth child and in the brackets number five okay now there's something called nth last child let's say nth hyphen last and uh, child and instead of saying uh, number five let me say number two let me show it to you now I'm sure this is self-explanatory uh, guys that uh, the second last child has been affected okay let me get rid of it okay and uh, actually just wrong uh, went wrong with the formula it's actually minus n plus let's say 3 okay uh, I know things are getting a little complex now now let's see what happens when I use a formula something like a minus n plus 3 it means that please affect only the first three items leaving the rest okay 
similarly if it were a uh, number five out here okay uh, as you can see in the live view guys that uh, what it has done is it has uh, affected the first five items leaving the uh, the rest five and uh, again let's uh, take the help of the colon knot now the colon knot should reverse the meaning completely so if i were to put the colon knot before the li item add the open parent here add the close parent uh, out here okay and take a live view once again guys you can see that it's completely changed the color <laughs> the meaning of uh, what's going on right let me reset it let me remove the colon knot right so guys if you thought uh, that uh, it's over no it isn't uh, there's more to come okay now let's say uh, I use a different formula something like uh, a 2n plus 1 out here beg your pardon plus 1 let's see what this does now what is happening here is starting item number one number one okay every second item is affected so the first the third the fifth the seventh and the ninth okay if i change 2n plus 1 to 2n plus 2 let's see how this affects the the ordered list so let's come off the live view go back in again so starting item number two as you can see here all right every second item is affected that's exactly what is happening let me change this two to uh, two n to a three n let's see what would happen now let me come off the live you go back in again now start starting item number two indeed every third item is affected so two plus three is five plus three is eight indeed that's correct right so guys uh, this was uh, a tutorial on uh, pseudo selectors the nth child pseudo selectors now now as i go deeper and deeper into uh, css and uh, i have understood one thing that pseudo selectors uh, called pseudo class selectors as well are indeed very powerful and uh, then again guys uh, it's a little hardcore concept and if you can actually master pseudo class selectors along with attribute selectors guys then you have uh, then you can create magic all right through dream weaver you can weave magic guys trust me all right so guys i hope you uh, like this tutorial you enjoyed this tutorial and most importantly understood this tutorial i'll see you next time with yet another uh, dream weaver tutorial or it could be flash with action strip 3 peace